Hello, and welcome back to Diving Deep with Deepak and Dara, where we make the deep relatable and translatable into your life in a relatively quick amount of time. Deepak, I want to talk about something we hearkened to in another episode about love and the path to love. And you have coined the idea of the seven stages of the mirror of relationship. Can you break down those seven stages for us and help us better ex- ex- understand true love? Okay, I'll do my best in five minutes and then later we can do um, a conversation on each of those stages, okay? Yeah. So the basis of all relationship is that it's a mirror, that every relationship you have with another person or with anything actually, uh, a situation, a circumstance, an event, a person, society, <clears throat> is ultimately a mirror of your relationship with your own self. So look around you and see what's happening to you right now in your world, in your relationships. And that's right this moment, the perfect mirror of who you are, period. Okay, so given that, in wisdom traditions that deal with consciousness and a deeper understanding of what consciousness is, what consciousness is, there are these following seven stages that are understood as the path to love based on the mirror of relationship, given what I've said. The first stage is what we call attraction or repulsion. So we are attracted to those people in whom we find traits that we have, but we want more of. And so we enjoy being in their company because somewhere in the background of our mind is, you know, I want to be like that. Okay, I am like that, but I want more of that. So that's why we hang out with people who reflect the traits that we have, whatever they are. Um, That gets tiring sometimes for relationships because if you're always, if people are hanging out with you all the time because they want your energy, then you will get depleted of that energy. So at a certain point, that understanding actually can be destructive because um, people get tired of having their energy depleted. The key to understanding this is if you find those traits in another and you become those traits, then the relationship will blossom. So instead of looking for the right person, you become the right person and then the right person shows up. That's all you have to do. Just be the right person. Similarly, if you are repelled by someone, you know, if you find somebody think of someone and you definitely don't want to go to Fiji or Hawaii or Guatemala with them, then that person reflects traits that you're denying in yourself. So you should write down all the things that you dislike about them. Greedy, selfish, self-concerned, narcissistic. uh, And then ask yourself, am I um, like that? And if you're totally honest with yourself, you'll see that under stress, you can be exactly like that. There's no difference between you and the person that so repels you or creates this deed. So now the, this first stage, which I call attraction repulsion, as the mirror, helps you understand yourself. I want to be like that person. And I want to face those traits in myself so I can forgive that person, not because he deserves forgiveness, but I deserve peace. And I can only get that if I actually acknowledge that I can be also like that. That moves us to the second stage, which is a deep connection. And that second stage deep connection comes if you practice things that you see infatuated lovers doing. And what do they do? They hang on to each other's words. Okay, they listen with unabated attention. So that's called deep listening or attention. The second is affection, deep caring. You're there for that person who respect it. The third is appreciation. You notice their good traits, even as you notice their weak traits and notice them in yourself. 
And the fourth is acceptance. You don't try to change. Uh, you treat them like just as they are. Uh, and uh, because you have those traits too. So this is my, the second stage, deep connection. The third is communion, which is a soul to soul connection. The fourth is intimacy. The fifth, along with intimacy, is sexuality. The sixth is surrender. Um, the seventh is passion. And then the final stage is ecstasy. So we can discuss those next time. I love the cliffhanger. If you liked things in this episode or want to know more from us in future episodes, like this, comment, let us know how we can be helpful to you in the future. Subscribe to our channels where we're going to release more videos every single week. And if you want more from us, then sign up at lifebydesignsummit.com slash Deepak. Link is here as well to get a free session and masterclass with Deepak and I on how to live a more meaningful life, which also comes with a really powerful guided meditation. Lastly, you can find us on the gram and you can find us on Twitter at Deepak Chopra and at Darabee. See you next time.